friends, to another miracle moment from Apostolic Outreach. I am Evangelist Timothy Dunn, and I am thrilled to have you here with us today. God is working great things on the face of the earth, and I just want you to know that He wants you to be part of it. He wants to work a miracle for you, and I believe that He would give you a word today that would begin to open up the power of His Spirit in your life. God is a great God, and He is a miracle-working God. We are coming to you live today from the Kenilworth Lodge down in Seabury, Florida. I want to encourage you to take just a moment and look there on your screen. You'll see the address for the website, KenilworthLodge.com. And we would like to encourage you, if you're ever in the area, give them a call. These folks are wonderful. They've treated us great and marvelous, and I think that they would do the same for you. Give them a call next time you're in the area. I would like to encourage you today that if you've not taken the moment to send us an email, a prayer request, a testimony, would you do it today? Take just a moment and give God an opportunity to use your testimony to bless someone else. There are hurting people in this world and they're looking for you. If you have a prayer request, send it to us. Watch God turn your prayer request into a testimony. He can do it just like that and just blow your mind with a miracle moment for you in your life. I want to give you a quick testimony of what God has done for me. Some of you know me, some of you don't, but those that do know me know that God has healed my body in a great, great way. About 1993, I was hurt, had a telephone pole fall upon me and crush my back in multiple places. There's seven broken vertebrae in my back. Both of my hips were busted. And I have a God that whenever I open my life up to receive His healing virtue, He healed me from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. I want to tell you that today I walk without a cane. After nine years of walking on a cane, I walk without a cane today. I don't have pain in my back. I don't have spasms. God has healed the neuromuscular conditions as well as the structural problems of my back. It's good. It's strong. I drive up and down the road 50 to 60,000 miles a year, and God supports me through it all. I sleep on some beds. It's probably not the best for me, but you know what? I don't wake up in the morning with back aches and aches and cranks and all that kind of crazy stuff. Why? Because the Lord healed my body. And when He did it, He did it right. You see, when God does it, He does it right. If you give Him a chance, He would like to do something right for you today. If you've got just a moment and go with me, I want to talk to us today about forget not. Forget not. Watch this. Psalms 103 and verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who is this that does this for us? Who would be the one that we're trying to bless with this? Why, it would be Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The one who died on the cross for us. The one who bore the stripes on his body for us. The one that has paid the price. He said, I, I am the one that healeth thee. I am the one that forgiveth thee all thine iniquities. I am the one that laid my life down for you. You see, it was in the wilderness when they raised up the serpent in the wilderness, they looked upon that serpent and they were saved. Jesus said, I must be lifted up as a serpent was in the wilderness. Why? So that when we would look upon the Lord, we die not and we are healed of the miracle that He did by taking stripes upon His body. Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 5 tells us that he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement or our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Now the Lord Jesus wants us to realize and not forget that he is the one that does this for us. He's the one that heals us. He's the one that forgives us. He's the one that sets us free. But there is a plague in this world today that there are many, many alternatives to receiving the help that you need. There are alternatives other than Christ Jesus that would deliver your life, that would heal your body, that would set you free from conviction and condemnation of sin. And I want to tell you today that you need to remember that it is the Lord Jesus Christ that forgives you of all of your sins. It is the Lord Jesus Christ that heals your body of all manner of diseases and sicknesses. You see, we have a God that's like a Walmart God. We can go there and get anything we need. 
God looks upon all areas of our life and He deals with all that. And I'm telling you today, somebody in this audience is needing a miracle from God today. And I'm telling you something because this is the help and this is the answer that you've been looking for. You have cried your eyes and you have been sad because you didn't know which way to turn. Should I go here or should I go there? I can't afford this. I can't afford that. But I'm telling you something today that if you would remember that Jesus paid the ultimate price to take care of your life, then the Lord would begin to work for you. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 47. It said, Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. You see, too often times we're serving the God that we serve not for a, the abundance of all things, but we serve Him for parts of our life. We serve Him for joy, or we serve Him for peace, or we serve Him for salvation, or, or whatever the case may be. But the Lord wants us to serve Him for the abundance of, how many things? All things. What did it say? It says, forget not His benefits. We need to remember the great benefits of the Lord are all-encompassing. His power moves through our life as we surrender and submit our lives to Him. He has a way of being able to help and to deliver and set free the captivities of our lives through His hand and His miracle-working power. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, when this scripture, verse 47, is read, it is describing the reason why the children of Israel would become condemned, or you as the saints of God would become condemned, and you would become cursed, not blessed. Why? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. But there's a reason why you're, that's how you should serve Him. But the reason you should serve Him is for the abundance of all things. Don't forget that the Lord would like to be everything to you. Would you give Him a chance to be everything in your life? He would like to. If you would ask Him, He would come into your life and He would solve all of your situations when you surrender your life and you partner with the Lord. When you give your life and He gives His Spirit, the two of you come together as one. And you battle and face every struggle that you're ever going to face. You're going to face it together as one. That meaning you don't have to go through this thing alone. That the Lord will fight the battle for you if you would trust Him. Can we pray today and ask the Lord to please remember us, to look upon us, and help each and every one of us to remember all of His benefits. Father, we come to You today. We humbly ask, Lord Jesus, that You begin to work in our lives, that You would stir our hearts, Lord, that we would be saved, but more so than saved, that we would be enlightened to remember You in everything of our life, so that Your great hand and Your great anointing would touch us in every way. Lord, I ask you to touch the sick and those that are unable. Lord, heal the bodies and heal the lives. Restore the families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank you once again for joining us. Again, I'm Timothy Dunn with Apostolic Outreach. We're looking for great things. I want to hear from you today. Take a moment. Reach your mouse over if you're at apostolicoutreach.com. Reach over and click on email. Send us an email. The address is on your screen for those of you that are watching on YouTube or any other place. Right now is a great time for you to send in your prayer request. And right now is an even better time for the Lord to turn your prayer request into a testimony of joy. Don't you know that God would love to bless you today? Why don't you give Him a chance to do that right now? And we're looking forward to hearing from you this very day. And thank you again for joining us. Tomorrow, see us one more time for another great testimony and a wonderful word from God that the Lord is sharing with us today. And we look forward to seeing you there then. And until then, we're praying for you. Oh, but by the way, before then, I want to know, are you ready for a miracle?